Not every as seen on TV product is a waste of money, but how would you really know unless you try them or better yet, we try them for you. Today we'll be taking a look at products that claim to make your outdoor leisure more comfortable and your hard work more efficient. To kick things off, we're absolutely excited to be reviewing the one and only Pouch Couch. Touted as a revolutionary portable lounger, this ingenious invention lets you take a load off wherever you go. But for 17 bucks, is the Pouch Couch a breath of fresh air, or will we burst its bubble? Even the Pouch Couch has its very own pouch, and after removing it, you can see that it's tightly rolled, folded, and secured with a plastic clip-in clasp. To get your wacky inflatable couch ready, simply unlock the clasp, unfold it, and give it a hearty shake or two to unroll it. If you peek inside the opening on the end, you'll see a couple flaps. The Pouch Couch has two separate air chambers, so all you've got to do is pinch the flaps together to open one chamber completely, then run around like a maniac. Quickly close that chamber while opening the other and then repeat the process until you have the amount of air that you desire. When the chambers are about 80% of the way full, just close the opening and give this thing your best burrito wrap. When the couch starts to look pretty comfy, just fold over the sides of the rolls and clasp it all together. After running around the field, feel free to take a quick power nap. When you're all done, just roll and fold the pouch back up, slide it into the carry case, put it over your shoulder, and away you go. Now there are alternate ways to fill this up and this one's surprisingly simple. Just lay the couch out on a flat surface, open up one of the chambers and then pump it open and close at a brisk speed. This effectively makes the opening of the couch into a giant air gulping mouth and it fills the chambers fairly quick. Roll it up and snap it and then take another victory nap to recharge your powerful body. Relaxing on the couch pouch proved to be unbelievably comfortable and showed that this thing is an effective 24-7 lounging accessory. The sheer portability of this product is unmatched by products of a much larger size. It's a living room love seat, a sleepy chef's dream as a kitchen cot, and even a bathtub bassinet all in one. Based upon sheer value alone, we can without a doubt vouch that this pouch couch is no slouch. Next up, we've got the Garden Genie Digging Gloves. Gardening gloves that let you dig and plant so you can avoid using traditional tools. This claims to make gardening fun and easy, and they also say that the gloves are perfect for any time you want to get your hands just a little dirty. For only eight bucks, we figured we'd give these a shot, so we opened up the box. Inside, you'll find a little plastic bag with two gloves inside, one regular and one with a set of claws that they modeled after Wolverine's arch nemesis, Sabretooth. It's important to note that the claws are only on the right hand, but they do sell pairs with both or for left-handed individuals. The claws are made from ABS plastic and attached to the gloves just a little bit past the knuckle. They're rigid, durable, and turned downward at the end, just like my experience with cryptocurrency. When I got the gloves on, they were surprisingly comfortable made me ready to be the nightmare in your dreams. You can see that our gloves came with a little extra adhesive that crept out of the claws. Also included was a little bonus glue pull on the wrist of the glove, but hey, aesthetics aside, it shouldn't interfere with the project at all. In order to give the gloves the ultimate test, just look at the flowers, Lizzie. We'll be giving these gorgeous florets a new home. These things tear through loose dirt with ease, but digging into the ground seemed extremely tedious. In fact, these claws seem to be more suitable for mulch or fresh soil, uh, not so much compressed earth. Now that we've got our dirt hole opened up, we gave it a little depth check just to make sure our potted plant would fit comfortably. All right, toss it in there and pack it all in because just like that, you have a beautiful addition to your yard. For our quality conscious viewers, we'll be comparing the more pricey and original Honey Badger Gardening Gloves. The $25 Honey Badger set sports three claws on the inner fingers of each hand for double duty digging power. Same as before, we selected a spot and immediately went to digging our planty pit of despair. Became immediately obvious that although using two hands may seem to dig a bit faster, it actually robs you of the ability to plant one hand down for leverage. This of course makes the task just a bit more difficult, so really, you only need one clawed glove to boogie in the dirt. You might be wondering though, can I make my own pair of clawed gloves? Lumos, introducing the witchy wonders, Knox, a delightful marriage of rubberized glove and some witch fingers. After taking just a few minutes to super glue our witchy digits to the glove, we were delighted to have a creepy creation to put into action. Just look at them, so scratchy. The witchy wonders put a quick hex on the surface of our little test, but they were quickly dismembered by the blighted ground beneath. Digging a bit further, we decided this was their final resting place, and we buried them. So here's the final verdict. 
the witchy wonders are truly a curse. The honey badger gloves are well made and a bit smaller in the claws, which can hurt after extended use. But it's also important to note that their quality far surpasses the knockoff garden genies, so they will actually last you more than just a few uses. If you have just one or two quick tasks to accomplish in the yard, then the garden genie gloves will most certainly suffice. Just don't expect them to hold up over the course of time. It is my most esteemed honor to introduce you to the Grillbot, an automatic grill cleaning robot. This $90 grill Roomba is rechargeable, runs on a timer, and has dishwasher safe brushes. These brushes are used to propel itself around your grill and give it a nice respectable cleaning. Before opening the Grillbot, make sure to read the warnings on the box. To sum them up, don't place the Grillbot on anything hotter than 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and always make sure to inspect your grates after using it to make sure bristles didn't stick around on top. All right, you'll be pleased to see that the bot comes with its cleaning brushes pre-installed, so all you've got to do is snag that included power adapter and give this thing a charge for a few hours. Also included is an owner's manual containing some instructions and a durable quick start guide that tells you everything you need to get going. For our first test, we gave the Grillbot domain over our rust-covered grates, just to see what we could make happen. Since the Grillbot is meant to be used with a closed lid, we had to build a little wood frame so you can actually see it working on camera. After pressing the button on top, the automatic timer is set to run Grillbot for 10 glorious minutes of grill cleaning. We would probably describe the sound coming out of the grill as a rock inside a washing machine, so if you plan on feasting on your delicious barbecue creations outside, it might be wise to wait until the festivities are over before you run it. Following its 10-minute tirade, we were moderately pleased with the results, although you can tell that it favored the upper left corner heavily. That being said, this thing isn't marketed as a rust remover, so we decided to clean these things off the old-fashioned way, and then we prepared a bountiful captain's feast for the entire raid to enjoy. After getting the grill nice and hot, tossed on some grub and got to grilling. Gave the items plenty of time to cook and to leave a mess. After removing our first batch from the grate, we upped the ante by cooking a tomato to uneatable levels. This added a nice thick patina of crud on the grates. Next, we replaced our little wall and set the thing to run for 20 minutes. You can see that the Grillbot does need lots of time to complete its task. But if you give it a chance, it really does do a good job of taking care of the majority of the mess that you made. You might have to do a little touch-up afterward, but it is best to set it to the highest time limit if you want these superior results. Keep in mind that this isn't a smart device like a Roomba, and we're fairly convinced it only changes direction in random intervals if it realizes it's been going one direction too long. Okay, back to that warning though. We inspected the brushes closely and couldn't see anything wrong with them other than a few bent bristles, which we expected. However, when we examined the interior of the grill, there were definitely a dozen or so wires that had fallen off through the grill. If the noise doesn't bother you and you also inspect your grill very carefully before each use, the Grillbot may be for you. Loose bristles can happen with normal grill brushes, so it's to be expected. However, with the cost of this thing being far too high and our aversion to cleaning anything by hand, the only barbecue that we're interested in is at your place. Oh, don't worry, we'll bring the meat so you can cook it for us. Final verdict, if you can find it at 60% off like we did, then snatch it up. Otherwise, stick to your $5 brush for a deeper and faster grate cleaning. Presenting the amazing pocket chair, which is a chair you could put in your pocket. Our amazing pocket chair arrived in a nice little pouch that had a zipper on it. And you know what? Luckily enough, the As Seen on TV logo is public domain, so we slapped one on there for legitimacy. Priced online at nearly $30, this foldable chair supports up to 250 pounds without breaking a sweat. Just unzip that satchel and your pocket-sized furniture slides right out. Setting this chair up is a cinch. Just unfold the arms downward and towards themselves to stretch the top of the seat until it's tight. Now there are a few options of how firm you can keep the seat, but we found two or three slots in to be the best. Now you might be wondering, what can I use the pocket chair for? Well, once it's set up, the world is your oyster. Replace that uncomfortable desk chair with ergonomic bliss. Got a love seat but no love? The pocket chair is always there. Is there a backup in the tunnel? How about a portable squatty potty? You can even use this as a fantastic booster seat or just turn that lawn chair into a gone chair. Three points. The amazing pocket chair is unquestionably the ultimate furniture replacement, and when paired with the couch pouch, people will be talking about your new place in no time. So what more is there to say? It's in your pocket and it is indeed a chair, but what about the claim of being amazing? 
Not really. Uh, it's extremely portable and might do in a pinch, but this chair is about a foot off the ground and doesn't even feel secure when you're sitting on it. There's plenty of other products with the exact same parts and for a third of the price. We'll go ahead and link those in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that we saved you some money or showed you the new product that's going to change your life. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this every week, and we'll see you next time. Witchy Wonders now available at Greg's General Store in Fairbanks, Alaska.